Okay, welcome to the show, Working With Wood. Well, it's springtime, we're at it again. We're building another barbecue style cart. Uh, this one here is a little bit bigger than the other one. The other one we built was 40 inches wide and uh, 48 inches long. This one here is four feet wide and five feet long. So what we had to do, we had to build a little different style of cart. I was going to build one where you work on the side like this, so this part would have been lower, but it's a long reach over to that other side of the trailer, so that would be no good. <clears throat> Same as if we was working at the end here, like the other cart we did, we worked at the end, your steam table was there. Well, that's five feet to this end, so what do you put up there? Like, where's your red box if you... If you put your red box here at the front, you still got a lot of room there. So what I decided to do is I decided to make a cart that you work in. So this here, you can see it framed in. We got some framing done yesterday before we started the show. This is going to be the work area. This is going to be your countertop. What's going to go here is a barbecue is going to go here at the, on the countertop at the front. And a smaller barbecue is going to go here at the back. This smaller barbecue is going to hold your steam table. So that's where you're going to have a steam table. And uh, that's where you'll hold your hot dogs, your hamburgers, stuff like that. This barbecue up here will be for cooking. It'll be a bigger barbecue. Underneath here, in this cavity here, this is where our battery is going to go. Uh, the battery will go back at this end, this area here. <clears throat> this will be a fridge in here, probably up in this area here towards the front. In the middle, I think what we'll do is make shelves so you can keep your, your muddy tray in there, you can keep your hot dogs and hamburger buns down in there, and stuff like that. So we need the storage. Okay, on the back here, this is the sinks. This is where the sink's going to be. So we're going to frame this in, and the sink is going to go here. Underneath the sink, under this area, it's just going to be our plumbing coming down to a trap. Then it's going to go through this wall, and in this cavity is where our gray water tank is going to be, which is going to drain out the side of the cart. So the sink is going to go on the back, right here. It's going to come down. Like I say, on the bottom of the sink, it's just going to have your plumbing. So it's going to be, all the sinks are going to be tied together, drain. It's going to go through the wall that will be right here. Inside this cavity here is where the gray water tank is going to be. The gray water tank will be there. Then what, it'll drain out the side of the cart, right behind that light where it'll drain. There'll be a valve inside. You reach your hand and turn the valve. It'll drain out there. You drain it into a pan or a, uh, some unit that you can take and drain it into an a, a area where you can drain gray water. Okay, so this area over here, you can see there, that's where we're going to work. That's where you'll be working, is there. And like I say, that's going to be your countertop. At the front, okay, here at the front of the cart, we're going to make a cooler. That's how big the cooler is going to be. It's going to be attached to the front of the cart here. And what we're going to do is we're going to insulate that with uh, one inch foam. So they call it a 10 day cooler. If you ever look it up on the internet, this thing is supposed to stay cold for 10 days with a, a good sized block of ice in it. So what we're going to be selling, keeping in this cooler, is ice cream sandwiches, popsicles, them little tubs of ice cream, stuff like that. All prepared, all wrapped. I don't know if any of you have ever served ice cream like hard ice cream by the cone. It takes a long time. Someone comes up, wants an ice cream, you're looking at three, four minutes to get them an ice cream. By the time you get everything open and start scooping it on, stuff like that, and it's messy. 
your hands are sticky, or you know, you got the scoop you got to tend with. This here, easy. You stick your hand in the cooler. They want an ice cream sandwich. You stick your hand in the cooler, give them an ice cream sandwich. This is the way to make money. Time is money. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, build this cooler in a few minutes and uh, frame it in anyway, and then we'll attach it to the front of the cart. Then we'll sheet it in, we'll put the insulation on the inside, uh, get that spray foam. We want that spray foam insulation so we get all the corners, all the uh, joints real good, and then we have a, we'll have a good cooler. So anyway, what, with the cart this time, we did the same thing as we did last time. We sheeted the cart, in, or we framed the cart in with two by two. Now this cart here, is all together six and a uh, six feet and a half inches long and I got the front sheeting on so that's with the sheeting if you just take the measurement of uh, the cart being framed in we're at six feet the cart is 48 inches wide. It's four feet wide, six feet long. So actually this trailer is six feet, not five. It's actually six feet long. Now our worker area is 25 inches. 25 inches by 70 and a half inches. So we're looking at 25 inches this way. The table is 70 and a half inches. The height of it, Measure the height for you guys that want to do this is thirty seven inches. The height of this is thirty seven inches. So then we have a back wall here. So this back wall is six feet long, or actually the back wall is seventy and a half inches long. 37 inches high. We run uh, supports every two feet, framing it in. So it's uh, t uh, 24 inches on center up to here. Same here. Now what we have to do now is we got to run some framing across here. So what we'll do, we'll run it in the same spot. We'll run one here and one here. So we need two sticks to run there. The way we did the floor on this, <clears throat> I took a sheet of 3 8 plywood. I laid the 3 8 plywood on the floor of the trailer. Underneath this floor is mesh. This trailer was designed to haul a quad or something like that. So it's mesh. I took a, a sheet of 3 8 I laid the 3 8 down. Then I took a sheet of 3 quarter inch, and that's what you see there, this 3 quarter inch. I laid it on top of the 3 8 I do all my building on top of that 3 quarter. Then what we're going to do is we're once we get it all framed, we're going to drill down through the bottom of this plate, the bottom of the plate on the front, the bottom of the plate on the side, and we're going to bolt it to the trailer. So the reason I run three quarter or three eighths underneath this three quarter is because this will be your cart, the three the three quarter, and with the the cart like the everything built on the three quarter. If the floor ever rots, which I don't think it ever will, but anyway, if it does, you just take the bolts out, you pull the, the, the cart off of the trailer, the thing that's gonna rot is that piece of three eighths. So what you do is you take this off the trailer, you take the piece of three eighths out that's rotten, put a new piece in, so put this back on the trailer, bolt it down, you're brand new for another 10, 15 years. So anyway, that's, that's the way we, we did that. Uh, like I say, we sheeted it in with uh, two by two, or not sheeted in, but framed it in with two by two. The sheet on the front, the reason we put that in first is because on this trailer, there's about a six foot wall, metal wall, that goes down the trailer. So what you have to do is you put that sheet on first because 
if that's, you need your measurement, number one, but you can't get a sheet down in there if you push your, your, your framing tight to that wall. It goes across the front too, and you can see it here. There's a better look there. You can see that little wall that goes down or just a edge type of thing. Now, let me just move the camera. If you look here, between my framing and that metal wall, you can see a gap. Right here, you can see this gap. Right here, I stick my finger in between. Uh, that is so we can put our sheeting down in there when we go to sheet this side, after we got the guts of the trailer and we drop that sheeting, it's gonna fit between this framing here and this wall that's going up on the trailer. So I guess right now what we'll do is uh, we're gonna frame that little cooler in and we'll uh, attach it to the front of the trailer. Okay, so we got the, on the front for the cooler. Now this, like I say, this is not gonna stay there. I just put it up so we could, uh, you know, measure around it, see what it's gonna look like, see where we're gonna have room for it, if it's gonna work. But I think it's gonna be fine. What's gonna happen here is <clears throat> we're gonna sheet that in when it comes time to, to complete that cooler. We'll sheet it in. Then on the inside, like I said, we're gonna run one inch styrofoam insulation. And we'll use uh, 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 insulation in the can, the spray insulation, to do the, the joints like in the corners, along the bottom, stuff like that. We don't want no air. This cooler is called a 10 day cooler. It's supposed to keep stuff cold for 10 days. And uh, well, we'll find out exactly if it does. <clears throat> so, uh, I was talking about the other cart. The other cart we did, we built last fall or last spring. It was a little different this one. Number one, it wasn't so big. So everything, like in this, in underneath the cart, like in the guts of the cart, everything had to go in a smaller space. So we had a big difference between this cart and the other cart. The other cart was solar power. So it had a solar cells on top of the bread box that charges the battery continuously all the time you're out working if you've got a nice day. So inside the cart, we had a, a battery. We had our gray water, our fresh water. We had a charging system from the solar system. Plus we have a, ch a charging system in it where we could, when we parked at night, we could plug it in, it would charge the battery. Uh, in the back, we had uh, a stove and, and a steam table that was built right into the cart. And then in the back, we had a 3,000 watt power inverter. We had to run all of our lines down from the front of the cart here, what you can see on this cart, that's where the propane tank is. And right here on the other cart is where the hot water heater was or is. So what we did is we come in through the wall with a gas hose. We piped it down to the back. We put a, we put a, a tee on it. We teed it to the stove. We teed it to the barbecue and teed it to the hot water heater. The other thing on the cart, like I say, the, the area wasn't that big because on the front of the cart, we had a bread box. We got a bread box on it. So the surface, the working surface, surface wasn't that big. But in that small surface, we have three good sized sinks. We have a cooler built in and we have steam tables in the back. So on this cart, we're not gonna have that. Uh, where you can see here, like I said before, this here is uh, the work area. That'll be countertop with two barbecues, one to each side and that piece in the back there is where you work. This one here, we're gonna have our gray water inside. Like I say, it's gonna be uh, piped out through the side with a valve so we can drain it. Our fresh water is gonna be in there. 
The sinks are going to be on the outside, plumbed in through the wall and into the grey water. The hot water heater will be on the back underneath. Uh, it's, uh, uh, you know, it's not going to be as much, but it's going to be a lot. <coughs> but it's not going to take us that long to do it. Like I say, I have maybe two hours into this cart. That's cutting all the two by two by twos down from two by fours, so I had to run them through the table saw. Uh, cutting a floor out of three quarter inch, then cutting the floor again out of three eighths. Uh, then I uh, sheeted the front here, so I cut that out of uh, three eighths. The sides I probably will do in quarter inch. Good one side. The front you want it a little bit a little bit solider because number one if you're towing down a road rocks come up off your back of your car or truck hits that so you want a good sheet of plywood on the front i probably will run uh, uh, like a, a sheet of uh, tin or a sheet of stainless or a diamond plate something like that just to protect it even more so anyway th this cart here is like i say it's going to be easy it's quite big it's four feet long or four feet wide six feet long still very easy to tow you can tow it with a small car like i say so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back and on the back we're going to build and we're going to start framing in for the sinks so there's the cooler in and uh, we're going to start framing in for the sinks and we'll frame that in and we have to run some uh some uh, framing across the front of that table area. So anyway, stay tuned, we'll be right back and we're gonna start framing in the sink. Okay, here's our sinks. Now I make these sinks. These sinks are insert pans off of a steam table. What we do is we cut holes in them for the drains. You have to flange this down here so your, your basket will fit in so it's down a little deeper than the bottom of the pan. Then what we do is we run, just caulk this here, put caulking there, and we mount it in the back so, the, the, so they're rigid, they won't fall apart. So anyway, they make, they make great, uh, great sinks. So this is where they're going. This is where the sink's gonna be right here. So what we gotta measure is we want this a bit out from, the, from here, so we're going to go one inch out from this frame here. So the first thing we got to do is I guess we'll measure this, the pans. So the pan is uh, 13 inches and the three pans together are 21 inches. So 13 by 21 and we're going out one inch so we're going to go 14. So that's still going to because we have to have another inch or two inches for for our uh, taps. So let me just measure this again. You measure one, you measure twice, and cut once. So we're looking at 13. So we're going to have to go 16 inches out from this frame to here. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut two pieces, 16 inches, and then we're going to cut one at 21 inches. So we'll cut them, we'll right back and install them. Okay, our plan was to put the sink on the outside, but the more I looked at it, the more I seen a problem because this is gonna stick out here a long ways. And we want the cart to kind of be contained in itself. So what I decided to do is put the sink right here at the back and the taps here facing this way. So what we'll do is we're going to put uh, these supports in, these cross members, and then uh, we're going to start working on the sink. So these are cut at 22 and an eighth for you guys that want to measurements, and we'll start putting them in.
Well, this one here, we're gonna put down here. So we're gonna measure our sink and figure out what the, what the measurement. So the sink is 13 inches. So I think we'll just go with 16 here. And that should, uh, should be plenty. So we'll mark it here. Mark it there, and we'll install this one. So we'll line it up on our marks that we measured, and put it in. This is really going to sturdy up the, this piece here for the table. What this is, is just a, a box that I built and set in. So it's uh, the front plate, the front wall here is a frame of its own. So then I built this out on the floor, just shoved it in and screw nailed it to uh, this front wall. Same as this wall here, it's just a wall built on its own, screwed to the front wall. So <clears throat> when you add these uh, extra pieces of uh, framing, it really, it really uh, stiffens it up. So there we go. The next thing we'll do is we'll sheet this in. Put a sheet on the top. We can sheet in this side and the back here. We want to leave this area in here open because that's where we can, uh, we're going to put a fridge in there. We'll put our fresh and gray water in there. Our battery's got to go in there, pump. You know, we got to get to the, to the gas lines. Maybe I'll put the gas lines in before I sheet this in. Anyway, this top can be uh, sheeted in. Then we're going to cut out for our sink and our taps. Okay, before we put the sheeting on here, we have to run some more supports in here. And this here is, uh, so we have something to screw nail this ice box to. So what we're gonna do, we'll just line it up on the top. I can see where my screws are through. Tap this over some. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a measurement on the top here. Go from this side. We're at eight and a half. So it's got to go over about a half an inch. Okay, so now that's square. We'll finish putting our screws in. That went in good. Okay, now we're going to install the other side.
Okay, so there's our uh, two pieces installed. So now this, this ice box is tied in. Instead of just being into the plywood, it's into this, into this wood. Really sturdy it up. Uh, so what do we have to do before we put that on is, like I say, I think I'm gonna run the gas lines. I wanna tie it in at the bottom here. You can't, I don't think you can see it, but it's, it needs to be tied in at the bottom, this box for the, for the table and that. Uh, and then we're pretty well ready to rock and roll with it here. So that's it for this show. Next show we'll be putting the gas line in, uh, sheeting it, and uh, like I say, it's not gonna, it's not gonna take us very long to build this very easy project. So tune in next time to Working With Wood.